Hello and welcome to day 9 of the N810 series. In the last couple of videos, we saw how do we connect OpenAI API in N810 to generate text-based post and image based on the text-based post. We also saw how do we include human in loop so that whatever is going on social media is actually approved by a human before it goes out. But the question still remains on how do we ensure this entire process is automated so that we do not have to come to the platform and click on that execute workflow every single time that we want it to run. So in today's video, let's see how do we schedule a post to be created and processed before it is posted on LinkedIn. So let's get started. So this is what we have so far, which is when clicking execute workflow, that is the manual trigger. Then we have OpenAI model to generate the text-based post and the image that gets generated based on the text that is generated. And then we included the human in loop so that it actually sends an email and waits for the response. Then we have a filter, which basically sends it further only if we have got approved from the previous step. And we are downloading the image from here because we asked OpenAI to give us only the link. Uh, and that we did. And we did that because we wanted to send that via email so that the human can actually view the image and approve it before it goes further. And after this step, we are sending it to LinkedIn. So today we're going to schedule this entire process to be running on specific frequency. So for that, let's go here and let's check out schedule. Okay, so we have schedule trigger here. Click on that. And then it asks trigger interval should be days, seconds, minutes, hours, right? Or weeks, months or custom. Let's begin with days. Between days between trigger, like do you want it to run every single day or do you want to run two days, like once in two days or once in three days and so on and so forth, right? Let's make it every day. Um, trigger at R, okay? What time do you want it to be running? Is it midnight, 1 a.m., 2 a.m.? Let's make it like 5 p.m., right? Trigger at minutes, basically um, 5 p.m. or do you want like 5.30, right? So this makes it 5.30. So if you go here, the minute pass the R to trigger, right? So this can be 0 to 59. So if you make it as 30, then that will be 5.30. So you can cut everything that happened after uh, 5.30. We can add multiple rules here, but we will do that a bit later. And let's quickly check what is the settings. So you could just add the notes here. Okay, this is meant for your own purpose. Optional note to save with the node. Optional note to save with the node. And display note in flow. So if you want uh, the note to be shown in the flow, you can also enable that. So once you do this, just click on execute the step. And let's go back. And this one, you can get it over here and connect it over here which means it can well execute when we click on this one, which is the manual workflow. And also whenever it is scheduled to work, that is on a daily basis at 5.30 PM, right? So the entire flow will run every single day at 5.30 PM. Of course, it will wait for the response and then it goes further. Um, if you want it to go at 5 30 then you should be ready to approve it as soon as you get an email but that's how it works right um let's quickly check what are the other options available with regards to scheduling because most of it is what we have already seen in the last video so let's go to the schedule and instead of days if we go to weeks 
then it lasts you weeks between trigger like do you want it to run every week okay if that is the case then you make it as one if you want it to run once in two weeks then make it as two and so on and so forth now trigger on weekdays right it is set to default sunday but if you want it to run on monday tuesday wednesday wednesday thursday and friday that is working days right then you can select these five and you can select what is the time now there could be a scenario where you want it to run on monday wednesdays and fridays at 5 30 but you want to run it on tuesdays and thursdays right at let's say six o'clock for whatever reason right so you could do like this which means every week on mondays wednesdays and fridays the same workflow will be running at 5 30 pm while it runs at 6 o'clock 6 pm on tuesdays and thursdays you can click on execute step and you will have that running and that's connected one of the beautiful things about na10 is that you can have multiple triggers as opposed to how other platforms like zapier make public connect all of them work they can have just one trigger while you can have multiple actions in uh, all the platforms but any time is special because you can have multiple triggers so for example we have manual trigger here we have a schedule trigger here we could add one more schedule trigger here right so you can just go we can see here add another trigger and it could be manual trigger it could be on app event it could be on a schedule it can be on web book call we will cover all of this one by one if you have not covered it so far let's for example add on app event right and it could be anything like a double or like whatever it is i just want to show you how we can have multiple triggers we'll not be covering the air double thing right now on a new air double event okay so i'll just leave it for now and i'll be adding that over here and connecting it this week so you can have multiple triggers and that's the beauty of this platform now let's continue to understand about uh, scheduling because we saw the week we also saw the days of course seconds minutes is like too much uh, to ask like you don't want something to be running every second i don't uh, see a use case there but yeah you have every minute every hour um you could also run it every month okay trigger at day of the month so do you want it to be the first day of the month or you want it to be like 25th day of the month or anything of that sort and what is the time right you could also make this as custom okay where you will have to give uh cron expressions okay you can find help generating your cron expression here so um it is like 015 into one sunday format seconds minutes hours day of the month month and day of the week so you can generate some expression and put it over here we'll probably cover that in some future sessions so let me just delete that and let's make this one to run on every monday tuesday wednesday thursdays and fridays and that's how you can schedule the workflow to be running at specific intervals it could be every day or it could be particular days of the week it could be on a monthly basis like you wish in case if you have questions with regards to anything on na10 please do join our whatsapp community and put your questions there we will also have office hours if a lot of you or at least a few of you want to have those office hours which will be on a paid basis we will also have a one-on-one -on -one session where if you are getting stuck with anything that you need support our team member will get on a call with you to support you this will be on a paid basis of course but you can get in touch with us to understand more about it thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one